Hi everybody, my name is Megan. Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. That was very fast. Um, so to begin, A, let's address the obvious. I have not been posting much. I'm really swamped with stuff, um, as you guys probably know. And uh, yeah, school's kicking my ass at the moment, but I'm doing good, I'm persevering. Um, but yeah, I am very excited to film this video today. It has been so long, like it's been I think a month since I sat down in front of my phone and actually filmed a video because the stuff I've been editing was like videos I've filmed in the past. Um, so yeah, it feels good to be back. I'm excited. Uh, but anyway, hi, my name is Megan. Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. So yeah, as you can tell by the title, like I always say, um, I'm going to be doing a little book haul. I'm not a reader. Let's preface by saying that. I am not really a reader. I say I'm a reader, but I'm not. Um, it takes me like multiple months to finish a book because I don't read all that often. Like I at most read like 10 minutes a day. So I've been trying to get more into reading. I joined the literary society at my school. Um, and yeah, I just think readers are really cool and I wanna be like them. So, and reading like you educate yourself and it's neat and it's, it's cool and it's cool. Yeah. So <laughs> I got eight new books on Friday, just by coincidence. I don't know how it happened. It just did. Friday was a very book themed day for me. But I wanted to do a little haul for you guys um, so I can fake being an actual reader um, and try to get myself excited to read these. So yeah, I am excited. It's just like some of them are ish, iffy. Okay, but to start off, I don't know which one to start off. We'll start off with a big one that everyone's talking about lately, which is Dune. Um, I got this at a book exchange because I went to a book club and someone was just giving it away. I'm definitely not going to read it before I see the movie because it's like a pretty hefty book. I've heard it's really hard to get through. Um, no offense to the reader. It's This is supposed to be like one of the best sci-fi books. That's what my dad says. Um, if you're trusting my dad's word, that's what he says. Um, and so, yeah, I just figured I should pick it up. I'm I'm gonna see the movie before I finish reading the book. Like, whatever, who gives a, a frick? A frying, a flying, a frying. Who gives a flying frick? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna hold off seeing the movie just so I can finish this. Like, in an ideal world, that's what I would have done and I would have read this like nine months ago and then saw the movie, but it's whatever. I'm gonna watch the movie first and I may never end up reading this. So anyway, this is the first book that I got um, and I got this for free, which is a steal because I know that the prices are probably ramped up for this right now with Tim Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya and Jason Momoa and everything. Um, okay, next up is a book I've been really enjoying, which is The Cuckoo's Calling. Um, this I bought used at one of my local bookstores, but it's really good. It's about this model. It's a murder mystery. It's about this model who supposedly commits suicide. She's basically like the fictional equivalent of Gigi, Gigi Hadid or Kendall Jenner. Um, and yeah, it's kind of about her story and a detective who investigates it, but it's really good. So far, it's like glamorous, but it's also like kind of romantic. And there's like this certain writing uh pleasure in the way that she just like the writer describes like everyday action so i really like the writing so far i'm about 60 pages in um yeah i'm very pumped for this one it's about 500 pages so it's a hefty book but i decided to start this one first and i got this instead of my usual agatha christie so i'm branching out trying to um beat those barriers this one is the final girl support group this is a horror novel I have never read horror. I may totally regret it after I finish reading this, but um, I was like, it's Halloween, I should read it. Although I'm not gonna end up finishing it before Halloween. This I'll probably read in like five months from now, just cause it takes me so long to read stuff. Um, but it's basically, um, it's about this, these girls who survive some sort of very traumatic event 
the, the, the description is so vague, I'm sorry. Um, and then they have like a support group, but then one of the girls in the support group goes missing. Like all of them survive the traumatic event together or something. And then one of the girls goes missing and then they find out that like someone's after them, I think. That's I think what it is about. Um, so it's like a girl support, like horror um, type of book. So anyway, this cover also is like so scary. Um, that does, that chair blood, that chair's blood does not look realistic. I feel like blood is not that red. Whatever. Anyway, this one I'm excited for. I may not be sleeping after I read this, but yeah, exciting. Okay, next up is Nomadland. Not excited to read this. I had to get this for school. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's great, but it's nonfiction. I don't totally love nonfiction to be honest it's basically just about like the aftermath of the um 2008 recession in the u.s so yeah i'm like whatever this is a book i had to get and i happened to get it on friday um next up is the alice network i also got this one for free um it is basically like a wartime story um it follows two different girls one is um One's, one girl's timeline takes place in 1947 and one girl's timeline takes place in 1915. Um, but the first girl, the 1915 one, she basically gets recruited to be a spy in World War I. Um, and yeah, so that I was like, oh my god, I want to read a spy story. The other later girl in 1947 is um, unmarried, she's pregnant, and she's a young college student. And her parents, and it's during World War II, and her parents send her to, um, to uh, Europe to have her, quote, little problem taken care of. That's what the book says. Um, she decides to break off and find her cousin Rose, who has disappeared. So anyway, I think this could be good action, probably an easy read, but... The, t the cover is cool, and I really just want to know the spy story. This reminds me, this reminds me of Go Ask Alice, although that's obviously a completely different plot. Um, okay, next up we have The Garlic Ball Ballads, um, and this book technically does not exist to the Chinese government. I will explain why. This is, I think it's fiction, but it's probably based on true events of the Tiananmen square protest. I wonder if I'm gonna get this video taken down. No, YouTube wouldn't do that. I might get harassed by the Chinese government if I ever move there. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Well, whatever. I'm practicing free speech. Okay, the, the description is pretty vague and kind of heavy in terms of words, but it, I'm pretty sure it just follows like this, these, this main character's experience with the Tiananmen Square protests and um uh just how what just what was kind of going on at that time it might be a bit fictionalized I must say and the writing looks dense um but I'm excited this should be interesting although I do hope that I don't get in trouble for reading this whatever 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 read banned books that's what the motto is Okay, next up we have The Rhino with Glue-On Shoes and Other Surprising True Stories of Zoo Vets and Their Patients. This one I thought could be just cute, fun, and quirky. <laughs> cute, fun, and quirky. Um, I don't know why that came out of my mouth just now. Um, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm interested in becoming a veterinarian when I get older. And um, so, yeah, I, I thought this would be fun just to read a bit about experiences of a vet and some of the fun stories that they have we'll see if it's good or not i might not finish it and then last but not least we have this one a long way gone um you guys probably recognize this it's a pretty famous book it's about um ismail Bea. i hope i'm saying his name correctly but he is a survivor of the sierra leone civil war and he was a child soldier in it um really scary um, but I checked this out, and I'm doing a project on the Sierra Leone Civil War in my class. I'm definitely not going to be able to finish this. Um, I'm kind of just skimming, hence the page flags. But, um, yeah, it's scary and sad, for sure. 
Okay, well that concludes um, this quick little video, you guys. I hope you, I don't know, I was talking really fast. I'm getting excited about my books. I hope you were able to find something. Obviously this isn't a review because I actually haven't, I haven't, I haven't actually read any of these. Um, hopefully they're all good. We'll see what happens. I'm glad to be back filming. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Ooh, there's a big bald eagle flying past my window. Wow! Hello! So cool. He's flying so fast. He or she. Or they, I guess. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know how you've been doing. I really miss, like, interacting with you guys and hearing about your, um, your lives. I sounded like I was from Minnesota, hearing about your lives. Um, we'll see, honestly, when I get to uploading this video. Like I said, things have been really hectic, um, but I'll try to upload it at a reasonable time, hopefully not five weeks, um, hopefully more like two weeks. Also, I have a really big update for you guys, which I'm probably not gonna say just to keep my personal privacy, but yeah, my life has been going really good lately. So, you can probably guess. Um, yeah. Anyway. Anyways, 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 anyways. Uh, yeah. That is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, and as always, subscribe. Um, but yeah. Let me know if you guys have read any of these books. Comment your thoughts down below. I sound like a real YouTuber. And, um, I will see you next time. Why did I hit the book? And I will see you next time. Bye!